In today's two minute tech tip, I want to emphasize the use of Docker Compose files. In a world where we build and deploy and run containers a lot, we often emphasize on the use of Kubernetes. But what about building, running and testing our applications locally in containers? Now you can run Kubernetes locally, but when we build apps for containers, we often have to focus on the app not the Kubernetes cluster. We want to run the container, mount some config files, expose some ports, do some networking, pass environment variables, and do container-related things. And this leads us to a docker run command. Now this should look very familiar to you. In a lot of my guides, I usually showcase how to run containers by using a docker run command. This example is from my Redis tutorial. I pretty much do the same on other tutorials like my RabbitMQ, I have docker run, as well as my Kafka tutorial, I do docker build, and docker run. Now this does mean that we have to document these commands and when we write a document it means we have to maintain these commands and when these commands change we have to maintain the document and things often go out of sync and all of our git repos will have different commands which become a pain to maintain. Now the benefits of using a docker compose file is that we write a declarative docker run. Now a docker compose file helps us describe what a docker run would look like declarative and it's way better than a docker run command because it's a living document and as an engineer to run this compose file in this container I don't need to learn a docker run command I simply need to change directory where the docker compose file is located and to build it say docker compose build and to run it I simply say docker compose up and that is it having one of these compose files in every git repo that you have will not only help engineers running your applications locally but also help new engineers because because they don't have to dig around for the documentation and figure out how to build up a docker run command to get your technology up and running. And that is it for our two minute tech tip video. For more two minute tech tips, be sure to follow me over on Twitter, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know when future two minute tech tips go live. And until next time, peace.